Hello, my name is Danilo Perrotti. I'm an associate professor in the Molecular Virology, Immunology and Medical Genetics Department at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center. And this is Anna Ehring, a recent PhD graduate from my group and first author of our recent cell paper. I would like to welcome you to the Ohio State University and take you on a brief tour on our paper, which is published in this issue of Cell, in which we show that the microRNA can restore maturation of blast crisis CML cells by interfering with the function of an RNA binding protein. Our lab has shown that the rest of myeloid differentiation, as observed in blast crisis CML, is a true bcr driven process. With the help of an international team of collaborators, including Drs. Carlo Croce and George Kalin, we use preliminary microarray analysis to identify microRNAs either upregulated or downregulated in a bcr kinase-dependent manner during the progression of the disease from chronic to blastic phase. Among the list of downregulated microRNAs, we focused here on MIR-328. As you can see, we confirmed our microarray data in additional CML patient samples in which MIR-328 was markedly lower in CML blast crisis when compared to CML chronic phase CD34 positive bone marrow cells. MIR-328 is highly C-rich, resembling the HNRNPE2 binding site located in the 5' untranslated region of CEBP alpha mRNA. And based on this information, we hypothesized that MIR-328 could act as a decoy molecule for HNRNPE2 and prevent its interaction with CEBP alpha mRNA, thereby allowing CEBP alpha protein expression that in turn induces granulocytic differentiation in response to stimuli. And in fact, this is the case. Dr. Jason Harb, a postdoc in our laboratory, used RNA immunoprecipitation to demonstrate in vivo binding of MIR-328 to HNRNPE2 harvested from bcr able expressing cells. Co-IP experiments showed that this interaction does not require association of major components of the risk complex. However, these data are not shown here. Binding of MIR-328 to HNRNPE2 displaced CEBP alpha mRNA from the E2 translation inhibitory effect. As you can see, when MIR-328 levels are low, as observed in blast crisis CML, HNRNPE2 binding to CEBP alpha is very high. However, when MIR-328 is restored to physiological levels, HNRNPE2 binding to CEBP alpha is markedly reduced. And consistent with these findings, another member of our lab, Paolo Neviani, helped to show that ectopic MIR-328 effectively restores differentiation of blast crisis CML cells in response to GCSF. This was independent of the MIR-328 seed sequence, since a mutant MIR-328, which retains its C-rich character but is mutated in the seed sequence, is also capable of restoring differentiation in blast crisis CML cells. Forced MIR-328 expression increased CBP alpha protein without having any effect on that of CBP alpha mRNA or levels of HNRNPE2 protein. To demonstrate that MIR-328 induced differentiation requires the presence of CBP alpha, we utilized a long-term 32D bcr able clone called 615. This cell clone exhibits a transcriptional block of CBP alpha and therefore requires ectopic wild-type CBP alpha in order to undergo differentiation. And when we injected these cells into mice, MIR-328 recipients showed the presence of myeloid cells at varying stages of differentiation in both the bone marrow and extramedullary sites when compared to controls. And while all recipient mice eventually succumbed to a CML-like disease process, this disease resembled more of a chronic phase rather than a blast crisis phenotype. MIR-328 also significantly reduced the spleen of MIR-328 recipient mice at three weeks post-injection. Consistent with this observation, MIR-328 markedly impaired the in vitro survival of bcr able expressing progenitor cells. However, when we use SHRNA targeting E2 expression, this bears no effect on cytokine independent colony formation, suggesting to us that the effect of MIR-328 on survival was independent of its binding to E2. So, we returned to the canonical function of microRNAs and searched for putative mRNA targets for MIR-328. We identified the serine threonine kinase PIM1. 
This kinase is upregulated in BCR able expressing cells in a tyrosine kinase dependent manner. And ectopic expression of MIR328 markedly reduces PIM1 protein levels without affecting mRNA levels. Furthermore, when we rescue expression of wild type but not a kinase deficient PIM1 in MIR328 expressing progenitors, we fully restore the ability of these cells to form colonies in vitro. Therefore, the MIR328 induced PIM1 reduction is in fact responsible for the reduced survival of these cells. The effect of MIR328 on PIM1 expression also depends on the MIR328 seed sequence. While the seed sequence mutated MIR328 efficiently induced differentiation of BCR able positive cells, it was unable to downregulate PIM1 protein expression. To summarize, this data demonstrates that microRNAs can alter mRNA metabolism not only by base pairing with complementary mRNA targets, but also by competing with endogenous mRNAs for binding to specific RNA binding proteins, a novel microRNA function that we have termed decoactivity.